renting out property can offer excellent returns. It involves a wide variety of expenses, big and small. Thankfully, many costs can be claimed as allowable expenses, which can be deducted from profit to help minimise your income tax bill. But many landlords fail to claim what they are entitled to, which can leave them overpaying hundreds, if not thousands of pounds each year in rent income tax. A big reason why some landlords' allowable expense claim is lower than it can be is poor expense management. This commonly includes losing receipts for purchases which they could otherwise claim. Other landlords deem a cost so insignificant that they don't think it's worth the time or effort to record. But such costs can mount up, so where allowable, you should be encouraged to claim them all. Lack of knowledge is the other key reason why some landlords fail to claim their full allowable expenses. In some instances, they might suspect they can claim but don't because they fear breaking the rules and getting into trouble with HMRC. While letting agents are not tax experts and we would always recommend that you get professional advice on submitting your tax return, we can certainly help with the tracking and recording of expenses. For an expense to be an allowable for tax purposes, it must be generated wholly and exclusively for the purpose of renting out your property. So for example, a landlord cannot claim as an allowable expense a vacuum cleaner that they also use for cleaning their own home. If you use something for business and personal reasons, such as a mobile phone, you can only claim allowable expenses for the proportion that results from renting out your property. This principle can also be applied to travelling and the mileage you may incur in the course of renting out your property. You can also claim as allowable expenses, communal service charges, letting agent fees, landlord's insurance policies, and accountancy and legal fees. Maintaining the property and the use of gardeners and cleaners can be claimed, as well as any council tax and utility bills that are paid for by the landlord. You cannot claim, however, time taken for DIY jobs or work that is an improvement. The HMRC definition is that maintenance replaces a part of the property with the nearest equivalent or restores an asset to its original condition. Redecoration is normally allowable as maintenance, as are repairs for a broken window, replacing light for light bathroom fittings, or fixing a garden fence. You can't claim on expenses covered by an insurance claim or the tenant's deposit, or on things that are not replacements, such as a security alarm system when there wasn't one there before. Improvements can often be classed as capital expenses, however, which may then be able to be set against capital gains tax if you sell the property later on. Unfortunately, HMRC has removed the landlord's right to deduct mortgage interest and other finance costs from their rental income. Instead, landlords now get a 20% tax credit. Even relatively small costs, for example stationery, can be claimed, as well as costs incurred to dispose of old items of furniture or electrical appliances. Landlords are no longer able to claim for wear and tear allowance for furnished properties. Instead, you may be entitled to use the replacement of domestic items relief. So if the property is furnished or part furnished, a landlord may be able to claim for replacing things such as sofas, beds, carpets, curtains, fridges, washing machines, sofas, crockery or cutlery, etc. As long as the quality is comparable, not superior. When looking at maximising rental income, tax relief is an important part of successful property letting and understanding what you are entitled to can help make better decisions throughout a tenancy.